Welcome back to the Raven Tape Drive-In. I'm your host, Mr. Raven Tape, and tonight's showing is Constantine. We are continuing our playthrough of Constantine the Video Game. This is what happens when you get a bunch of model characters who look alike of their real counterparts, but aren't really them. Licensing reasons. We all know why. Old, obviously. That is to say, ancient. Roman, maybe. Spearhead, perhaps. Yes, probably. Other than that... A half-breed angel died protecting it, Beeman. And demons came through to get it. It has received a great deal of attention. That is without question. And the symbol? Never seen it before. Or at least not in any earthly references. What about the Nissan Sturt Demoniacs? It might be in there, if you can find a copy. But, John, the only known Nessons to Demoniacs is in the ancient text section of Hell's Library. At least I won't have to pack for the cold. While I'm gone, find out where they're storing El Rio's body. Sure, sure. Can't be that many dead angels at the morgue. And I want to look them in the eyes when I get back. So, I don't know if this is like in the movie or not, but, uh, to me it sounds like, kind of like a, um, the Hell's Bible, and it makes an appearance in the movie I knew I would too. find the book in the last place I wanted to look. The tallest point in the lowest pit. The Nason's two demoniacs would be at the top of the highest building, in the bottom of Hell. Interesting. I should find a way down. I wonder what's down there. If they point it out to you, otherwise you wouldn't look down there, would you? you just walk straight over and forget about it. Though I don't know how ideally you would want uh, uh, glass flooring looking over something like that. I'm sure it's really cool ar architectural, but... like those buildings you can go up to around the world and you can walk out so far and look down it's a uh, it's a it's a trip I've never been to any of those buildings before but I'd like to but then again my fear of heights might overcome me it's like I saw a photo online oh this is a while back now but the pool floor it was a pool and the flooring was glass or you could see through it. I don't know if it was just. It'd be very. Uh, I wouldn't. I don't know what you call st super strength glass, but that's what it was. It was holding the water. You could go swimming in it, and you could look down. I think it was in Dubai. Now we're just doing vandalism. But hey, why stop at one? One more for good luck. So stupid. Okay, so you definitely know I'm here. That's good, I guess an upside to everything but um I was just thinking about it. I don't know if I haven't had seen the game for a while now but the original Max Payne 1 and 2 from Remedy it uh his run animation even though I said in the last video he looked like he took a shit, shit himself um it kind of reminds me of that but then I think a lot of games back then had the same sort of run am run animation Because I don't think motion capture wasn't big at this time, was it? And it was all still pre-rendered materials. I think I'm lost. Let's go back downstairs. Right. 
I had to shoot the glass. Kind of hard to do that when you just died. But him clipping through it is a nice touch. And the classic game over sign comes up. Not a lot of games these days have the game over ending screen. I think it's you just usually they just reload you back into your last checkpoint. I kind of like the old touch of um, game over. That's it. It's a good stopping point with a game if you ever get frustrated. It's like, game over. It's like, yep, accept that. I'm out of here. Uh, calm yourself, Constantine. Calm yourself. There's nothing to do or hit just yet. I didn't hit a butt or anything, he just started swinging. Oop, didn't mean to do that. I was hoping to skip that, because we've already seen this. Ideally, you'd probably would like to cut it out or something like that, but... You leave it in just for the sake of, um... Continuity? Is that how, I, how you say it? So it's time to find out what was hiding down there. And let's not fall to our death. Uh, it still got a little hurt, but not that bad. I had to shoot the glass. Okay, the sound effect of the glass breaking is really cool. The look of it, it's a bit... Well, let's put it this way. It's, it's very 2005. I think I, there were games back then that actually had better glass breaking physics, but then again, that not a lot of games you, did that either, from what I remember anyway. Hold your horses, hold your horses, let me try this spell out. That's, um, underwhelming. Well, at least it revealed that he was a demon under it. I guess. Might be handy if, we went, if I ever run out of, um, get moving. Be more holy bombs. From. Gotta collect those bonuses. Quiet, please. It's a library. Don't forget that. So, I'm curious to know, is there actually... Well, we probably... What the fuck was that? Well, that was just... Odd. I'm curious, I was gonna say... Ah, that's cool. Not say, but ask. Um, was there? Uh, well, was there? There probably is. Um, library is this big? Like, I think the biggest library we have here is probably the main city one. I've never been in it, but then again, I think it's just a single floor. I'm not a really a connoisseur of libraries. I know the okay, local library on so where I live I'm here. has an art gallery built into it. If that means anything. Once again, level design wasn't their strongest. But then again, playing these old games, it's um... There's not an arrow that points you in the right direction. 
timeline. Granted, not a lot of games these days have an arrow going go this way, but um, you kind of get a when you look at certain levels in certain games, you sort of can get a nice uh, ideal. You can kind of get a nice, uh, what would you say, uh, feeling of where to go. It's sort of like. Um, Journey to the Savage Planet, right? So the idea is that it's a very open world and stuff like that. And you can go anywhere on that planet, right? Providing that you have the right tools. That's sort of like the idea of progression. Like, you run along across this spot, you don't have the right spot. So you make a mental note of where that was. And you come back when you have the right tool. It gives you a general idea of direction and where you're going. Grand Theft Auto games nail the uh, feeling of it pretty well too. Looks like we're going back to hell. Ego poor sit para. Shit! Not even in there for ten there seconds. Warm welcome in hell. I'm already getting jumped. How do I get over that? I'm assuming we moved that box we saw in the real world. Good. A water ampule. That'll get me out of hell fast. That's a... I know it's a, a gaming um, mechanic. You need to get away out of hell, but... If you want to split hairs about this, it's like, why would hell leave water, water ampules lying around for people to jump back and forth? Alright, let's go back again. For an environmental Eagle puzzle, it's not uh, that hard. But then again, I don't know if anybody played... A lot of people probably played Gears... Not Gears um, God of War, back on the PS2. Uh, was it... 2? Yeah, it would have to be 2. There was a section in there, it was like a... Water temple. Let's get this over with. All right, water temple puzzle. I don't know how long I spent on that, but that was hard because it made nothing obvious, and the way to solve it was probably something that was staring you right in the face the whole time. Usually, when it comes to those sort of puzzles, I usually make a list, like a, a list of. Uh, um, uh, Elimination, sort of working your way through it. Well, we're not going through there. It's a nice touch anyway though. Looks like the little hole in the wall. I'm still trying to get used to these automatic controls, like I'll still press X to open doors or um, jump. You know, I was thinking about this the other night, of what a good looking Constantine game would look like, right? You would probably want, like, my first thought was, give it to Capcom, put it on the RE engine, and then put a good rider with it. Because, like I said, the, the wealth and history of the Hellblazer comics it, is so rich that you could probably make an original story at the same time sort of referencing some things in the past. I think it's the Newcastle incident where Constantine got his start and made his biggest mistake. I think that's correct. 
It's been a minute since I've read the Hellblazer comics. But something like, I guess the closest point of reference would be basically uh, the Punisher game that was on the PS2 and X original Xbox. Something that's like a, an original story but references older, older tales. Or even like, give it to, uh, well, since. Uh, it's gonna take more than that to stop me. Since they're already under. Um, DC's banner for game development. I think they're under that. But the I company that the did uh, the Arkham the games. Close. All right, you could have it. Give it to them. Because I'm sure they would do an excellent game too. I gotta unlock that door now. But until then. Oh, until the something it really enjoyed itself up here. The stars and the moons and all that align. This is the only Constantine game we'll get to date. Which, yeah, like I said, it's at least with the Buffy the Vampire Slayer games, they had at least the how many more must die? Uh, red. Uh, I guess you could say not rhetoric, but the forethought to write original stories for that. I knew these would get me somewhere. Well, we can't exit yet. Another thing would be, like, if they were going to do a Constantine game, another one anyway, uh, I don't know, how would, you really don't want it to be running gun, because it was never really a Looks running like gun the party's come to me. But what you kind of want probably is something maybe like, uh, investigation, sort of like a, I guess a cop story. Because that was kind of what the comics were very much like, to a degree anyway. They, usually the big, I guess, action moments usually happened at the end of the arc, when everything was just clicking into place. But then again, to some people, it may get boring, but then you look at, like, L.A. Noir, that actually did extremely well, but then, is that because it was a Rockstar game, or... Was it because people actually were genuinely interested in it? I couldn't go any further without going to hell. I oh, don't get me wrong. The writing in L.A. Noir and the acting and all that was really, really go good. Poor, and it para. definitely caught the time and era that it was based around. But if you're going to do another game like that, it's like, would it, fl would it? gain as much attention these days because like okay look at the LA Noir one of the biggest selling points of that game was the technology behind the motion capture for those actors that was a revolutionary thing on the PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 and it was also one of the first games I ever played that was on the 360 and it had multiple discs I had never played um Uh, what was it? Uh, Lost Odyssey? It was like a full disc game. Looks painful. You played an immortal who had no uh, recollection, no uh, idea of who they were, and you discovered their character through dreams. I think it was called that. Uh, anyway. Uh, that was hugely revolutionary, like the graphics that you saw in the console version were things that, of course, PC gamers had been seeing for a while, as consoles are already, or not already, but always a step behind PC, because PC develops quicker than uh, consoles. That's why you get ROM hacks and stuff like that, people rather play on PC with mods that it make the game look much better than it originally was. 
so that's uh yeah it is and if it, I don't think if it wasn't for the fact it looked as well as it did and the technology behind it I don't know like I said I don't know if it would have sold as well like today the graphics for video games is no joke this is as high as I go they're getting to the floor. point where even though it's all animated you could almost compare it to a FMV and for people who don't know that what FMV stands for it stands for full motion video look at the Sega CD and stuff like that for reference Kangor, I thought I could smell you. This place will take anyone, huh? You're not still upset with me, are you? Right, yeah, we're our first boss fight of the playthrough today. Welcome to my life. Oh, look at those frames drop. Oh, that's it's really chugging in it. Now, granted, this was on the PS2, but still, you you look at them, you look at that those frame drops, and you think this probably be, there were probably more stable games on the PS2 than anything else. It's like that whole argument of I don't know if we have it still or not. I'm, been out of the loop for this argument for a while now but the argument back in the day was frame rate versus resolution what is better now sure you want to look at things that are very pretty and bring a sense of awe to you but I've always stood on the side of the frame rate what's the point of looking at things that are extremely beautiful to the eye if you can't keep a, st uh, a stable frame rate to look at that sort of stuff. But then again, it, it's a throw up. Like, if you've got a stable frame rate and you want to look something beautiful, but if you don't have it, it's a, it's sort of like that snake eating its uh, tail. It constantly goes into a loop. The only thing I've got against uh, development of certain games is inverting the sticks. You push up to look up, you push down to look down, left and right the same way too. Don't invert that stuff. You're a madman if you play it that way. But then again, my hat's off to you because I'm sure it takes a bit more of a uh, learning curve to do that. That's not going to help. I don't even know, like, I know his health is going down, but I don't even know if I'm hitting him until he blinks red. I don't know how much further down you can get than this dump, but I'm sure you can find it. Constantine with those uh, monologues are just pure awesomeness. Okay, so let's grab this book and move on, I guess. The Nason's two demoniacs, a real page burner. The final shotgun piece. Oh, that's Thanks. nice. Okay, I'll give him credit on that one. That was a pretty cool pre-rendered situation. Let's see what happens next. Now we got the book. Oh, 
Well, it's going to take a while, John. Now, these guys never get straight to the point. And the spearhead? Any luck? None good, but I'll keep trying. I do have something I know you'll like. A tasty titbit. Yeah? Hennessy found Elryu's body. You got an address? Or do I have to exercise it out of you? He hasn't picked up since he gave me the info on Elryu. I'm... I'm a little concerned. I'll look into it. But first I want to look into Thomas Elryu. You hear from Hennessy, tell him to meet me at this... P&G Mortuary. As for Mr. El Ryu, that dead half-breed and I are going to have a little conversation, eye to eye. That'd be kind of hard, isn't he dead? Yeah, nothing from Hennessy? All right, I'm at the meat locker. Going in. Time to visit the local butchers. Just skip the foreplay? No. The audience needs something. Good. Someone's home. Like, we didn't already know about that. So it begins. It already looks like a mess and we haven't even got inside yet. Nice. They've been waiting for me. Did you bring me something? Oh, I don't think that actually hit him. Go to hell. Constantine with those one liners. Why I did that? Slip of the button, I guess. Uh, this is not a uh, obvious setup. how where the shotgun blast from the holy shotgun is across it's a nice touch yeah I got enough ammo I thought that was like a, like a collectible card but it's not throwing shit everywhere Tell you what, things are messy. They kind of remind me of the the things that I'm just fighting there. That uh, 
crawl into your body to possess you once you're dead. Yeah, right. Um, kind of remind me of the uh, face huggers out of Alien. Granted, the face hugger has a different. Uh, well, not, I wouldn't say design, but more a different objective to the human body. But to me, it it kind of reminds me of them. They look like bats with cat toy, with a uh, cat tail, but you kind of get the same idea. I can't exit, so somebody's in here. And of course, we're going to use the phone filter. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to see in the dark. Oh no, there they are. Shiny nice and blue. Ow. Oh, the lights are back on. That means must must mean we can leave. Yes. What is that sound? The game bugging out? I swear that's not me. Was the game just Shut bugging up. out? I can't. That's the first time I've ever crossed that in this. I thought everyone was dead. They are. Stay here. Kind of reminds me of that audio glitch. Kind of remind me of playing. Um, you're too late, John. Be... That was obvious. Yeah, nothing flies. It really doesn't look like it's doing anything, does it? Anyway, I was going to say, with that audio glitch, it kind of reminds me of uh, Splatterhouse when I played through that. The uh, complete playthrough is on my channel. A little shameless plug right there. <laughs> but uh, there was points in that game where you constantly kept hearing the chainsaw when you didn't even have one. That was fun. Fire control. Because sometimes you'd get it just as a normal rev, right? And then there'll be other times where you would get it as uh, constantly at full bolt. I don't know what I just picked up, but it looks like it affected my health. That's a good sign. All we need is a water cooler, though. get the feeling that that voice actor must have voiced Shaggy at one time or another in their career. If they haven't ever voiced Shaggy in their career, they're missing out. set pieces. This game, just playing what I've played so far, this game really does suffer from the Quake Syndrome. 
I think I explained that in the Spider House video, but um, the Quake Syndrome, for those who haven't seen the Spider House videos, uh, is basically uh, what you would call it. So when the game Quake came out, you played the solo campaign in that. You had a chance if you died in a room, you'd be spawned out of it, right? Up to your old tricks, father? Unless you know any new ones. I was looking for El Rio's corpse and was stopped by that guard. Then the demon stopped him. You find the body? It's in the lab, this floor. Stay here, I'll go. John, wait, you'll need these. They'll get you into the lab. I found them on him. This place is crawling with fallen. Watch yourself. So as I was going to explain was that uh, what would happen is if you played the solo campaign in Quake and died, you would be spawned outside that room and then would have to um, go back in the room. Now, you can put it down to programming of the day and stuff like that, but the enemies would spawn in that place, those same positions again. So if you died again, eventually you would learn a pattern of where they're spawning and then you could just basically clear the room out with a well-placed grenade or if, or if you're quick on the trigger or something like that and that's probably what this game has going against it like every time you enter a room especially the set pieces like when those windows smashed and you had the winged demons flying on the outside I'm sure it's the same way each time you enter that room. There's no change up in it. We're going to get a quick refill of health. Alright, that's a pet peeve of mine. Not being a... You have to stand in the right position to use something. Granted, it does save him from... Ice uh, ice skating across the ground to get into position. That'd look even more dumber, but... Alright, let's see what's up. here following the recent interest from numerous authorities and the strange happenings over the past few days i have decided to move the body of tl ryu to a more biologically secure environment while this may be a temporary measure it should give me enough time to complete my inquiry i have isolated his body so that no contaminants can get in or out good to know i guess that the doctor was realizing there was weird things happening. Yep, time to move on. John, John, we're coming. Hennessy. No! Damn, that sucks. Thanks for coming out, Father. So he, the voice actor for uh, Constantine could have put a bit, bit more feeling into that, and the animation too, but... At least, in the video game, Father, you had more of a character development than you did in the movie. Okay, El Ryu, let's see what you know. I see the doctors were busy with you, El Ryu. 
Despite your appearance, I'm here to tell you, Thomas, you're not done spilling your guts. Illuminatum optio per ardua ad astra. Show me. Farther back, show me. <laughs> Balthasar. Don't move. Do not move. Can I at least light this? Up where I can see them. I'll take that as a no. You are under arrest. Of course I am. Great. It's great to see that she's finally entered the picture now. You know what I was thinking about? That now that we're in a pre-stink house, right? Nothing could go wrong, right? We're safe. Care to tell us what you were doing at the morgue, Mr. Constantine? Call me John. Or not. I was having a slow night, not much else to do. Figured it might be a happening spot. You responsible for mutilating the bodies? No. You a member of an alternative religious organization? That the PC term for Satanist nowadays? Mr. Constantine, this police department respects all religious beliefs. Right up until they start breaking laws. Well, there's your problem. Respect and belief don't belong in the same sentence. That mark, his mark, on your arm. Let go! You know what that is? Let go of me! No? Don't even know how you got it, do you? Only other time I've seen that symbol was on Thomas L. Ryu's apartment wall. Corinthians 17.1. You probably looked for it. Any luck? You already know the answer. There's no such passage in the Bible. It doesn't exist. Maybe you're looking in the wrong Bible. It just appeared. I don't know how. I woke up one day, and I had it. it scared the hell out of me. It must have. Because if hell was in you, I'd see it. So who's Balthazar? When we arrested you, you mentioned the name. Forget you heard it. You don't want to mess with Balthazar. You'll end up with something a lot worse than a tattoo. It's always bad when the shooting stops. Ain't that the truth? Now... Mm. Oh well. He was hoping for a happy ending, but I guess we just keep on fighting, don't we? I needed my artifacts to get out alive. There are lots of things I wanted to forget, but I knew not to forget these. Looks like I'm on everyone's dance card tonight. One of the things that whenever I picture these uh, shootouts, I always think of Terminator. That, if you've ever seen Terminator 1, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's a very famous scene too. Actually, I don't even think you have to see the movie to just see that scene. It's probably on YouTube somewhere. But, can I say something controversial? I think I prefer Terminator 1 over 2. I kind of I like the idea of Arnold Schwarzenegger being the villain, then actually the hero. But then again, I didn't grow up in the '80s. Creative. Here they come. I get the hint. Right. Gotta love ourselves some water coolers. Missed. Must me, I like this shotgun. You group them together and you can knock out a good few of them. As an overall story, what I've experienced so far playing this, it's not bad. I know I'm supposed to finish that sentence, but I don't know how to. 
It's just not bad. Story-wise, anyway. Controls are... Us. The, the way it controls is something else to be desired. Oh, we're off to hell again. How do I know? Because there's water on the ground. In other words, a crossbow. Now, the best crossbow I've ever had in a video game was in the uh, Evil Within games. Just simply because it's OP. Nothing more to say about it. <laughs> Alright, how do we... Nope, oh, hang on. Radio. Ow. Thank you. Can I stand up? Oh, it's a boss fight. Hmm. That's interesting. Why didn't it the music, you know, pump up? Why didn't it get it all exciting and stuff? This is a uh, underwhelming. Oh, nice! I can juggle me too. Shit! This dragon's breath is uh, definitely doing a bit of damage, isn't it? I love it when you don't have a jump button and they do those sort of things. To me, it seems a bit cheap. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now I'm just going to hide in the corner and reheal real quick, don't you? <sighs> Hopefully, we only have to square off with him once. I mean, in this level. Anyway. I think there's supposed to be music here. It's just a bug or a glitch or something. It's just it's treating this as a just a regular encounter. And if it is a regular encounter, rush it out a lot. Because if it's taken this long to take him out, it sucks. Thank you. Convenient. I know I'm probably ripping this game to shreds, but you kind of see the once you've played it for a, like a couple hours now, like I have, you kind of see it for its flaws. If that makes sense. keep swinging in the wind. Oh, sorry boys, we're jumping straight back into the normal world again. Great voice acting. One take wonders. Use the shout. What are you, are you saying I stink?
No, I'm all about. Though I must admit, I, I'm all for guns where they don't have a reload and animation when it comes to these sort of things. It's a nice touch. Ow. That worked us just as well, if not better. There's nothing in this cell. There's nothing in this cell. And we strike out on three. Water cooler. These things are important. For not only gossip in the office, but to keep your health up. If the guy doesn't mind, I'm about to cast a spell right on top of him. Welcome in community. Alright, so. Well, that answered my question. I was kind of about to say, how do I get out of here? And it's like, there you go. Ooh. Well timed. Got them all. Let's have that. Bonus collected. Good to know. Now I think they're just making up names for demons. He's got cannons on these shoulders. I wonder if he's a distant cousin of another demon. Oh, what's this? Another health spell. That's nice, I guess. Where's his shroud? Shroud. Got no idea what that'll do. I've only got one, so I don't want to waste it. it adds some variety to the demon in the face. Not always the same minions, I guess you would call them, over and over. That's, which is nice. Yeah, we're getting there. Doing what we're doing, you know. That's oh, right, we're gonna hit him in the back, don't we? Can you stand still for a sec, sir?
They really do stand out as a sore thumb when you're in the world of hell. Just double checking before we go back. We're in the booking hall now. Good to know. Looks like she's handling her own. Well, let's open this door, eh? Yay! Let him through. So this must be the front of the uh, precinct. I wonder if there was a, um, this probably came out on the PC, so I'm curious to know, was there ever a first person mod for this? For, uh, first person, yeah, first person mod, yeah. We're gonna call it first, an FPS mod for it. Um... That'd be an interesting concept. Sort of give you uh, serious Sam vibes. Oh, that hit him. I could have cast my black cloud over him, but what are you going to do? I just walk away like I had nothing to do with it. Well, to be fair, I had didn't have anything to do with it. I'm an innocent man. More or less. Alright, like in the last one, we'll see what the opening of this one is like, and then we might just call it the... Hennessy's dead. This is a blow. Can't quite say unexpected. Death never is an hour calling, but it is a blow. Vengeance will come. Right now, Beeman, I need you to focus. The cop who arrested me had the same mark that we saw in Thomas L. Ryu's apartment. Someone is playing games with you, Constantine. No. Someone is messing with me. Someone from hell. And they are very eager to get their hands on her. Her? The cop? Angela. It's interesting. <laughs> Ideas? Always. Next to her mark there was text. Corinthians 17.1. I'm not familiar with it. You got your hell bible within reach? Always. I'll wait. Uh, here. Corinthians 17.01. The sins of the father would only be exceeded by the sins of the son. Does that mean anything? It means I'll have to call you back, Beeman. I've got to see Papa Midnight. And with that, we've come to the ending of another showing. I hope you enjoyed it as I've enjoyed it. And until next time, good night.